you notice that there's a my photographs in the background it's because it's covering up something I've got another channel on YouTube but it's only just a, a my personal channel um, and it's just like a, a holiday I had in Holland uh, when I went to LA um, there's, there's just a couple of little bits and bobs on there that's really non motorcycling related if you like and if you have a look at this move this out of the way that I'm going to be reviewing on my other channel so if you want to have a look and see what it is tune in to the other side of me 2011 uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to I don't do a lot of uploads on there but anything that I do or I'm going to upload that isn't motorcycling related in that way then I'll put onto this channel I'll put the link here for you and if you want to subscribe feel free and if you don't then uh, not a problem just stick with me I've been asked by a few people to do a review on the, the Schuber C3, so uh, here goes. It's a flip front or modular helmet. So that means that there's a, a little clip underneath here that when you squeeze it in, it lifts the whole thing up. And you see it also comes with a really handy inner visor there as well, which is very, very smooth on the operation. So uh, it comes in very handy, that does. The thing about the flip fronts is there are some flip front helmets on the market that aren't allowed to be ridden with that up like that. Reason being is if you happen to have a crash, that could hit the floor and completely throw you, um, twist your neck around, which wouldn't be very good, would it? Um, so a couple of helmets are allowed to be ridden with this locked up, but this one isn't one of them. Personally, I don't see why you'd want to anyway, because all this is open and you don't want to mess yourself up if you, if you hit the floor face down, really, do you? You can see I've got my Scala Rider fitted to this, which has got the boom mic going around to the front. It's also got my camera on the side that I do my uploads with, that you're probably very well aware of. I've got one of these going in that raffle that ends on the 27th of October. So uh, remember to get yourself uh, entered into this raffle so you can win one of these. The helmet itself is actually Gold ACU approved. It's one of the first flip front helmets on the market in the world that allowed ACU approval for road racing and going onto the track. For some reason though, this didn't actually come with a gold sticker, but if you look on the ACU website, this is actually approved for going uh, off-road with. The um, testing on these, they do a sharp test for them, uh, SHARP. This only came about three star, and some of the cheap 50 pound helmets came up as five star. Part of the reason being, I think they automatically knock something off because of this modular side of it. Um, a couple of reports were that these things could flip up in the event of an accident. I've personally never heard of anybody actually having that happened, but there are a couple of reports on the internet saying that it has uh, in extreme cases. But I think you're more likely to choke on peanuts, get kicked by donkeys or get hit by toppling vending machines. So um, always ride with it down if you, get the, uh, if you get a modular helmet. They're also very good for people that just wear glasses because instead of having to keep taking your glasses off and on, you can just simply pull that over when you put it on and you can, you can keep your glasses on. Fit-wise, for me, it's lovely. It fits really nice and deeply onto the forehead, just like wearing a baseball cap. Some helmets that are flip front can feel that they sit a little bit too high up on your head but uh, this doesn't. For me personally, it's very, very comfortable. There's also a wind guard here. This is removable in the gym piece. This is what helps make it one of the quietest flip front helmets on the market. Um, so when you pull it down, you can pull it like that. When I first got the helmet, it wasn't clipped in properly and it used to pull this off when I used that to pull the helmet on, but it doesn't seem to do it anymore. Inside the visor, it does come with what you call a pin lock. You can see the extra visor layer there, and that stops the visor steaming up in very, very cold weather. And if the pin lock does get scratched or, or damaged in any way, you can just unclip it and buy yourself a new pin lock visor. Over time, you notice the visor does get a little bit loose, so I may be looking at possibly replacing the visor or maybe the pods inside. I don't know yet very easy to get the visor off by just simply pulling that there and then the whole thing just clips off. You can literally do it in less than 10 seconds which is a very clever design. The lining is removable and washable but you look here you can see how clean mine is because I always wear a balaclava even in summer 
when I'm riding one of these helmets on. The reason I do that is because it's a synthetic lining inside here and if you've ever stood next to a, a fat football supporter with a, a, a nylon synthetic shirt they tend to smell. <laughs> Here's me upsetting people again. Um, but by wearing a cotton balaclava underneath it actually tends to keep you cooler in summer believe it or not. Um, because you've also got polystyrene in here anyway so you can't get a better insulator. By wearing a, a cotton balaclava it will keep you a little bit cooler. The fastening system, this is my favourite fastening system, is what I call the ratchet and it's self adjusting. So in winter when you're wearing a scarf or a balaclava or something it'll only clip onto the first couple and in summer if you decide not to wear one it can adjust itself up. To release it all you need to do is grab this little strap and pull it and you can see the whole thing comes undone. Very easy. The ventilation on this you tend to find at the top here there is a little vent which you pull backwards and opens up the ventilation and it works fantastically well. I don't know whether you can see inside there or not but you can see there look the grey bits the ventilation is fantastic on these. There's a little bit of noise when you're travelling at speed on them um, you get a little bit of buffeting and things and I suppose you're going to with the, the ridges like this um, but no more I've noticed than any normal helmet, helmet that I've worn. Um, there's also a little bit of an anti-fog thing here which can pop open or close but I just tend to ride with that up a little bit now anyway. You notice on a lot of my videos I'm always popping the visor up and popping it back down again. So on the conclusion on this thing if you ask me what I think of it and how I feel about it, this is how I feel about it. I bought another one. I bought this one for my Tuono because at the time the Tuono was matte black and I bought the ACU gold approval sticker off the internet because this helmet is ACU approved. And if you have a look at the picture in the background you can see I'm actually wearing the helmet there. Uh, cost wise you're looking about £450-£460 retail for these but if you shop around you can get them a little bit cheaper. I personally paid around £225-£230 on an internet site. I normally never would buy a helmet off the internet but I'd already tried these on and I knew what size I was and they were a fantastic price so I thought why not let's go for it. So if you do decide to go for one of these, um, personally try it on yourself because your head shape might be different to my head shape and it might not uh, suit you at all. But personally, the quality of these things is just fabulous. And if it came to me having another one, if they came out with like a, a C4 or a C5, the chances are I'll be trying one on. I hope this helps you a little bit and uh, I'll speak to you soon.